Hello, and welcome to The Student Architect. My name is Chelsea, and this is a quick tip on how to cut through your 3D model in Revit. So here I have a house that I've been working on, and I'd like to get a better idea of what's going on on the inside of the house, but in three dimensions. So the way to get to a 3D view is you can go to the Quick Access toolbar and click on that 3D house there. And once we're in this view, if you look at the Properties panel, you can see under Extents, there's an option for Section Box. So when we turn that on, it will put a cube around the model. And when we click on that cube, you'll see these arrows that show up, and you can adjust them. And when we adjust them, you can see it starts to cut through the model. And we can do this in all directions so that you can really get a good idea of what's going on inside. So now, once I find a view that I like, I can actually save this view. So if I go over to 3D View in the Project Browser, I'll click on the one that's bolded, which indicates the view that we're looking at right now. And if I right click and rename, I can name that section cut or something more specific if I needed to. And now I can always refer back to that view in the future. And if I click on this default 3D view, you'll see that the section box is gone, but now I can still go back to this 3D view and I can always have this with the section cut so I can refer back to this quickly in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. And if you want to see more Revit tutorials, you can check them out in my tutorials playlist. And you can also head over to the studentarchitect.studio slash guides for downloadable PDF resources that you can pin up at your workspace or place on your desktop for easy reference. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to get notified when I make new videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell. And finally, you can contribute to support my work by going to the studentarchitect.studio slash contribute. And from there, you'll see a number of ways that you can support my projects. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.